Excited to set up your new Wi-Fi mesh? We'll help you with that. Before starting, we recommend taking note of these equipment at home. Fiber Termination Point, FTP, Optical Network Router, ONR, Existing Wi-Fi Device, and you may also have Singtel TV set-top box or a home phone. The FTP is a wall-mounted white box usually found near the entrance of your home. Trace the thin yellow cable connected to find your ONR. Don't touch the FTP and ONR setup. It's not part of your new device setup. Finally, look for a thick cable which could come in various colors. By tracing it, you'll find your existing Wi-Fi device. Switch off the power to your existing device. Disconnect the cables attached to it. Now, let's set up your new device. You will receive two new mesh boxes. Simply choose from any one of the mesh boxes as they're the same. Here's what's in your chosen mesh box. It'll become your main mesh unit, replacing your existing device. Connect the wires you unplugged earlier to your new main mesh unit. Then, connect the power cable and power it up. The LED lights will be blinking. It's ready when the power and LAN LED show stable white lights. Your new Wi-Fi connection is now up. Now, it's time to pair your second mesh unit. Pairing needs to happen next to your main mesh unit. Connect your second mesh unit to a power source near your main mesh unit and power it up. Look for the sync button, which has two arrows in a circular pattern. Press and hold the sync button on the main mesh unit and release after the mesh LED starts flashing. Then, press and hold the sync button on the second mesh unit. Release after the mesh LED starts flashing too. While pairing, the mesh LED will be flashing on both devices. It's ready when the mesh LEDs show stable white lights. Let's test your new Wi-Fi connection. Look for the Wi-Fi username and password. It's printed on the bottom of your main mesh unit. Connect your personal device to your new Wi-Fi with the login credentials. It's working when you see all the Wi-Fi bars on your device and you're able to browse the web or go online. Now, let's look for the best locations at home to place your mesh units. We recommend placing your main mesh unit where your old device was. And we suggest placing your second mesh unit in the room to extend Wi-Fi coverage to the rest of your home. All set? Here's some hot tips for your new Wi-Fi mesh setup. What to take note of when placing your mesh units? For better Wi-Fi connectivity, make sure your mesh units are unobstructed and not hidden behind other objects or in enclosed areas. Have a Singtel TV set-top box? Simply reconnect the cables to your new main mesh unit. Want to change your Wi-Fi username and password? Or check on your new home Wi-Fi coverage? Simply scan the QR codes on screen to find out more. Having trouble with your new Wi-Fi mesh setup? Here are three common issues and how to troubleshoot. Are the lights blinking on your main mesh unit? Try restarting it. Switch off the power to your main mesh unit and switch it on again after 30 seconds. It's working when the LED lights are showing stable white lights. Is the mesh light on your second mesh unit blinking white? Try pairing it again. Power up your second mesh unit next to your main mesh unit and repeat the pairing process. You're all set when the LED lights are all showing stable white lights. Is the mesh light on your second mesh unit showing red? Your second mesh unit is likely out of range, so try bringing it closer. Explore a few locations. The mesh light will show stable white when in range. Wondering what to do with your old device? Bring them to any e-waste disposal point for proper disposal. We're happy to help if you're still having issues with your setup. Speak to us by calling 1688.